May her soul rest in peace and may justice take its word. Now, moving on swiftly on to Mada's bilateral relationship. Uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta and visiting Namibia President Hedge Gengob today signed agreements in status after holding bilateral talks. Addressing the press after the bilateral talks, President Kenyatta said the signing of the agreements present new opportunities and partnerships, as well as give traction to bilateral relations between the two countries. New opportunities and partnership were the fruits of the bilateral talks between President Uhuru Kenyatta and his counterpart from Namibia, President Hage Gingnob, during a state visit by the Namibia president. In this regard, President Kenyatta urged Namibia to explore the possibility of engagement in new areas including cooperation in marine and expansion of bilateral trade and investment. Many of you know we have a common background. It's two countries. It's two countries that had to fight for their liberation. Two countries that face many similar challenges. Both firm believers in Pan-Africanism. We are both firm believers that the integration of Africa can only lead to greater prosperity. President Gain Gob will tomorrow join President Kenyatta and other Kenyans in marking this year's Mashuja Day celebrations at the Bukungu Stadium in Kakamega County. On his part, the Namibian president appreciated Kenyan's contribution to Namibia's liberation struggle and stability. He assured Kenya of Namibia's support in its bid to capture a non-permanent seat in the UN Security Council for the period of 2021 to 2022. So thank you very much for inviting me to pay the first state visit uh, to Kenya, our second home, as you said. When we started our struggle based in Nairobi, it was Mse Kenyatta who gave the first land over to Comrade Yoma. Deputy President William Ruto, Cabinet Secretaries Monica Juma, Henry Rotich, Cecily Karioki, and Margaret Kobia, among other senior government officials, were present during the bilateral talks. Ivan Mwangi, KUT.